You might already know about all the amazing customization options that the Theme Builder offers in terms of colors, padding, effects like border radius and drop shadow. But did you know you can also import your own fonts and icons as well for a truly personalized look? If your brand style guide specifies the use of a licensed font or your design team has invested in the creation of custom icons, you can still seamlessly integrate those assets into the theming of your component library and export production ready code from the theme builder. The theme builder already includes access to a collection of standard familiar fonts to use in your typography system. To update the default font used across the entire component library, just open up the Kendo default typography variable and choose a new font from the dropdown. When you select it, you'll see it automatically apply across the entire component library. However, if you've fallen in love with a beautiful Google font or invested in a specific licensed font, you can absolutely use those as well. In fact, let's walk through the steps for adding this Google font, PT Sans Narrow, to our Theme Builder project. First, we'll download the font files. Then, we'll switch back over to our Theme Builder project. We'll click on the Project Settings icon in the top navigation bar, and then the Font tab. Click the Upload Font button, and I'll navigate to my Downloads folder where I can open up PT Sans Narrow and add both the bold and regular font files. Now we have the opportunity to customize our font type, weight, style, and display. The only one of these that's mandatory is the font type. So we'll go ahead and set these both as typeface. Then we'll click the blue check icon and move these from pending into uploaded. Both of these fonts will be available in our font selection. So let's update that default typography variable. We'll do a search and we can see both PT Sans narrow bold and regular are available. We'll select bold and we can see that apply again across our entire component library. We can make use of the same process to add custom icon sets as well. Just export your icon set as an icon font or download the icon font for your preferred library. For example, let's say we want to use popular icon library Font Awesome in our project. I'll download the free font files here, then switch back into Theme Builder and follow the same process that we just did, but this time I'll upload our icon fonts. So moving to downloads, opening up Font Awesome, the OTFs, here are our files. Note, instead of selecting typeface from the font type dropdown, we need to select icon. But other than that, the process will be exactly the same. Click those check marks and watch them move over into uploaded fonts, which means they'll now be available for us to use in our project. To make use of our new icon sets, we'll use the advanced edit panel. Let's switch out the forward and back icons in our slider component. First, we'll select the icon component part. Then we'll switch our text type to local type properties. We'll change our text to our font awesome icon set that we just added, and then use the gear icon component to open up our icon set selection. So we can see now we're pulling up the icon set from font awesome. And let's switch to our less than icon here and then we'll do the same over on the right button to switch out and set the same icon over there. Now these feel a little big for the button, so let's also go ahead and adjust the size down. I'm gonna take each of those from 16 pixels down to 10, so that they feel a little bit more proportionate. All right, that looks good to me. Now when we go back, we can switch into live preview and see our slider functioning exactly as it will in the application with our updated icon sets. As you can see, it only takes a couple minutes to get custom fonts and icons loaded into the theme builder and ready for use in your project. Try it yourself and check out our docs for more ways that Theme Builder can make styling your component library fast and easy.